Well, uh, <laughs> Professor Patrick Bernhagen is from uh, the University of Stuttgart and joins us now uh, live from Germany. So, uh, Professor Bernhagen, thanks for joining us. So, Germany has taken a million refugees this year and is also taking the first of the uh, swap refugees from Turkey. How many more people can Germany take and is there political will there to take more? Um, those are two separate uh, things, if you like. Germany logistically, economically is certainly able to take on uh, quite a considerable number of additional refugees. Probably uh, something like uh, the number of refugees that have arrived in Germany over the past 12 to 18 months, the same number could uh, be accommodated within Germany. Let's. Uh, not forget that this is a very wealthy country. Politically, however, uh, things look different in that uh, there's been growing uh, anti-immigrant, anti-migrant, anti-refugee sentiment among certain parts of the population. So economically, we could take on a lot more. Uh, culturally, politically, there are, there are debates and discussions at the moment. And Professor Bernhagen, that's the rub, isn't it? While economically Germany can take more, it's the mood in the country that will sway it. And obviously, Alternative for Germany did very well at recent elections. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, clearly, the major factor for uh, the alternative for Germany, uh, the AfD, uh, has been the refugee crisis. It's been uh, a welcome development for a populist right to far right political party uh, to sell its political program uh, while being pretty much uh, silent about all other uh, political aspects. And Professor Bernhagen, what's the, uh, the future then, if you can, for uh, Angela Merkel? She's uh, stuck her colours to this uh, refugee mass, if you will. Uh, does she have a, a, a legacy that will be seen rosily in Germany? Oh, that's a very good uh, question indeed. Um, uh, I think there's still a good chance that she and her uh, strategy might come out of this entire current episode uh, rather uh, well, you said rosily, perhaps vic victoriously, uh, but arguably some of this goes at the expense of the very people that we're talking about, namely civil war refugees from Syria. The current deal between the European Union and Turkey, which uh, owes much to Angela Merkel's uh, diplomatic skills, um, basically means that the core of the European Union, the countries in the center, in the geographic center of the European Union, are sheltering themselves more successfully from taking up more uh, migrants, more refugees from Syria. Uh, as you know, many of these are now being sent back to Turkey. Uh, so in some sense, I think that Angela Merkel is able to say, look, I handled this entire crisis, this entire situation rather well, but I do think that it really goes at the expense of many refugees who will now find it much harder to find a safe haven uh, after fleeing from the civil war in Syria. Absolutely. Well, uh, Professor Patrick Bernhagen, uh, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Thank you.